Yeah, you know, guys, and while we use the word remnants to describe this, it's accurate, but it just doesn't seem to do justice to the impact that these floodwaters had from this system that was once Hurricane Ida. For example, take a look behind me, this bobcat submerged in a sinkhole from the erosion that occurred from the rapids of the Hockenham River, which is usually not here. Now, in Vernon alone, they received six inches of rain, making a mess of the roads and forcing a mass evacuation effort. Vernon. So you guys were, like, stranded. You were cut off. Pretty much. The power of water. It's literally overwhelming our infrastructure. A submerged bobcat. A stuck utility truck. Getting some of these people over through the water was our, uh, our goal today. 114 guests at this Motel 6 stranded as Ida's remnants swelled the Hockenham River, overflowing its banks. But there's people that were going, you know, pulling their hair out, like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? How do we get to work? Emergency responders evacuated guests via this makeshift on-ramp to I-84. Now, the last time we did this was about 15 years ago. Uh, we've done it twice now in the past month. Uh, it's a sign of the times. All the recent practice making business owners like Chad Longo of Cunliffe Auto more prepared. Check out the sandbags. Those things are worth their weight in gold in situations like this. But it didn't keep all the water out. You can see the water line on the walls. One thing he can't see, his dumpster. Dumpster is missing, MIA, gone. Ida's aftermath leaving its mark on Connecticut in what's been a summer of wild weather. Even for New England standards. And the uh, Motel 6, which, by the way, is just behind this tree line behind us, uh, we're learning that most of the people who were evacuated have since returned as we've seen these floodwaters recede, if only just a little bit. For now, we're live in Vernon. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.